Taylor Odegaard here from Navigator CRE here at Enterative's office in New York City. Navigator CRE is a business intelligence company for commercial real estate owners. We focus on data. So today we're going to be talking about how business intelligence data and asset intelligence data blend together to make the ultimate landlord ownership experience. I go back to my favorite quote, data, 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 I cannot make bricks without clay, Sherlock Holmes, smart man. So what we're going to be focusing on first is how data is utilized in the stack for ownership. So understanding your occupancy and your rent roll. So data is actually living in your Yardi, your other systems that you're utilizing for your tenancy information. So understanding your occupancy, your expirations, your current in-place rents, tenant improvement allowances, expenses, and ultimately what's very important about that is your rolling expirations of your tenancy in a building. Right here I have a building showing basically a stacking plan you're saying, color-coded by year of expiration. It's very important from a data perspective as an owner to understand when your rolling expirations are happening in a building. This actually dictates your year over year and month over month NOI, because it costs money to retenant a building. Ultimately, if you're understanding your portfolio and understanding it from a tenancy perspective, knowing the tenancy makeup, how they lay out in the building, growth and retraction, uh, expenses to retenant the space and having optics on your portfolio, it's gonna make you a better owner to stay in front of retention and opportunities. Now, when you blend that with the asset side of the business, so HVAC, plumbing, elevators, pumps, electrical, all the things that give optics when you're looking at an asset intelligence, this balances the side of the occupancy of the building as well as the building's physical environment itself. So having great optics on this is important. You're able to actually understand from an analytical perspective how your operations and assets in that building are operating. So from an HVAC system, a plumbing system, an elevator system, your uptime, your downtime, your energy consumption, uh, even how the tenants lay out in the building when they're paying their triple nets or those cam charges, they want to better understand how they're being built. So if you're able to decrease all the data points with regard to operational expenses and having true transparency, it ultimately, it ultimately allows you to have a higher NOI in your building from an operational expertise. So if you can lower that capital reserve that you have to hold every single year in order to operate that building and lower your operating expenses, lower your capital expenses, or better yet have better optics on your capex, knowing exactly when you may have to do preventative maintenance or actually replace units in the building allows you to have a more fluid transaction if you ever decide to sell that building, recap that building, or trade it as a part of a portfolio. Doing a preventative maintenance plan is a super important thing. Reactive is not the way to do it. That's the old school way. So staying in front of the ball is super important. So looking back at this building, you can see all how the systems lay out. You've got your tenancy in here, and then you've got your HVAC on the roof. You've got your elevators, you've got your plumbing, you've got your building systems and sprinklers and things that are coming into play. All of these things make up the ultimate DNA of a property. So during your ownership period, optimizing using data, understanding your portfolio is gonna increase your NOI. It's gonna lower your capex and operating expenses. And ultimately as an owner of a commercial real estate asset, that's gonna increase the life cycle of the ownership of that building or better yet compress that cap rate and raise the sale price if you do ever try to sell that building. Because ultimately when you blend all these things together, data is intellectual currency. And if you use it right, you get the one thing out of any asset and any commercial real estate transaction that's important, which is risk. By doing that, you increase value. And that's what we do here with data.